Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. It's New Year's, or almost New Year's Day, probably New Year's Day when this comes out. Um, and I thought I'd share my little uh, Christmas break project with you guys. Uh, what we got here is the Jank Kneeler 4000 uh, brass annealer that I made out of shit laying around my garage. Uh, only two runs to the hardware store, can you believe that? And one order from Amazon. Uh, total price I got in this thing is right around 45 50 bucks. So not as not as cheap as I'd like it to be, but if you got some of this stuff just kicking around your shop, you know, you could probably swing this together for a couple, you know, 20 bucks or something if you need an electric motor or, or the little uh, thermo wee watt stat motor speed adjuster. Um, but uh, here I'll, I'll 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 kick it on for you guys. Oh, that's pretty slow. Boy, howdy. There, that's probably around the speed that I'd want. Fully adjustable speed. Oh, custom feed ramp took a... It needs a little bit of help sometimes. Hey man, what do you want? There you go, boom. Like a charm. But as you can see, the construction we got here is the classic uh, Dansk cookies, shortbread cookies. You know, from Christmas time, we all we all love these things. They never last, and the tins always stick around because they got lids and they're good for holding stuff. So, you know, that's really what inspired this for me was a. Uh, I had one of these laying around, and I was like, I need an annealer, and I don't have one, and I don't want to spend 200 bucks on a annealer, 250 bucks on a annealer, because uh, that's just a hard thing to pull the trigger on these days, especially in this hobby. Holy smokes, everything's so goddamn expensive. But, uh, so, <laughs> I'll walk you around this one a little bit, what I got going on here. Yeah, custom blowtorch holder. Rubber bander, 5,000. Don't burn your house down. I didn't tell you to make that. Uh, what we got on the side is obviously the cookie tin. I cut the bottom off of a pie tin that was going in the garbage to stiffen the back of it because the cookie tin's pretty flimsy as is. I got that hooked up to a 10 RPM uh, electric motor gear reduced so electric motor gear reducing box uh, but the 10 rpm was a little slow for me so i took one of the gear sets i opened it up took one of the gear sets out i got it going just a little bit quicker so that way my my control knobs actually got some variability to it you know it can really get moving if it wants to but it can also go really slow um, and I just, uh, screwed a couple pieces, uh, this is three-quarter plywood cut off, you know, quarter plywood cut off that I had laying around, made a kickstand, cut a couple little chunks and put them behind this to keep it running true and not wobbling all over the place like that. Uh, same thing here. Use the rim of the pie lid, kind of bent and mushed it around and cut it up so that it would be a feed ramp for the actual annealer there. Just, you know, super janky, but hey man. If it, as long as it keeps the brass in the flame for the, you know, desired amount of time, which I just do with the stopwatch, you know, you throw a shell in there, get the, you know, bust the stopwatch out and click, click. Once when it falls in, once when it falls out. So if you want to go fast, you can. If you want to go slow, you can. Works pretty good. Uh, and all that. The electric motor's wired into this. Just got a little variable knob and a switch that reverses direction. Or turns it on and off so you can save whatever setting you like. And just have it on the switch. 
got it to the 12 volt you know just standard AC DC converter and I got I, I think this is like 10 bucks and the motor was like 15 bucks maybe and in the uh in the AC adapter is like 10 bucks all from Amazon if you want to save more money you can by going like eBay route I think has a lot cheaper prices I just kind of wanted it it was a whim shopping on the couch you know boom boom get it to my house I wish I would have bought a dedicated uh uh chuck or arbor or something for the motor because getting the, 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 the size of the spindle and getting the proper sized sleeve for that is pretty important to get concentricity out of this whole joint. I had to finagle with this one to get it running so that the so that the tin's running true. I still don't think the uh, my little arbor job in there's run uh, perfectly true, but true enough for me. True enough for this. Good enough for the for the corner plywood annealer omatic. Uh and uh you know 20 bucks on a torch that'll get you going i mean of course you could always do the socket drill technique go until it's orange but i i like i like the idea that this is this system will be more consistent than my eyeball in a drill and better than nothing and also cheaper than 250 dollars for a dedicated unit and it's kind of fun to put it together if you're into stuff like that. Well, uh, I'm hoping to be posting more in 2025 because it's going to be my New Year's resolution is uploading to the channel a little bit more. But until the next video, I'll see you guys around. Peace out. Bonus blooper. Uh, I was using primed brass. It's a big no-no. This guy doesn't have a primer because... It shot through the side of the pan and into the into the plywood but hey i got a primer perfect pristine primer cup out of it <laughs> boy were my ears ringing <laughs> stay safe don't burn your shit down